And he's covered it. Again, in a little bit of trouble. Could try and land up to the red closest to the right corner. Drop the cue ball, dead on the cushion. Oh, he's gone for the pot again. Very attacking shot. Now, has he got away with it? Wasn't far away, but that cue ball was always going into the reds. Couldn't avoid it. And he has left one on. Blacks available to the left corner. Instantly looking for the red that will lead him to the black. Well, it's like he's woken up, isn't it? He looked half asleep Six. the first couple of frames, but he's wide awake now. He'd love this session to continue far beyond this frame. Seven. Well, I could have finished a little better on this red. Oh, sorry, on this black. He was perfect on the red. Well, lovely little cannon. To hold the cue ball for this red to the corner. And he's in business if this goes in. 15. Now, I could just go into them here. Doesn't need to go into them too hard. Just a little touch. And that's touched more reds open. 22. 23. So a good chance then to take a 6-2 lead into tomorrow morning's second session. No great surprise that his average shot time is quicker. It was on this table, this side of the arena, in 1997 where he made his maximum in 5 minutes 20 seconds against Mick Price. 31. And he's ahead on the pot success now. He was 74% at the interval, he's now 90 Good old Mick Price, yeah. he always gets a mention, doesn't he? <laughs> <coughs> it's a teacher now. 39. Well, he's been taught a lesson, hasn't he, here, Sean Murphy, in not letting your opponent off the hook. Because when you do, this is what happens. And he definitely had him, that's for sure. <laughs> that easy-ish red that he missed 46. in fr frame three. After knocking in a fantastic blow. 47. Fifty-four. So already up to fifty-four. And could just touch the reds here in going up towards the blue. No, taking the red to the left corner. It's been pretty quick, just over two hours. An average frame time. 55. Just under 17 minutes, pretty quick. So 62 points ahead. 62. Red, red colour red. So it doesn't really need to go into them. The end red goes. Otherwise he would have licked off them. But that end red goes, what he's looking at. Oh, looks to do.
It's the red that's going to need. It's going to leave. Sean Murphy yeah. needing a snook. A possible break, 143, which would be the highest of the tournament. Neil Robertson is on top at the minute with 140. Well, he takes the blue one four one. Yeah, I don't think he realised about the break. We'll soon find out now. Anyway, he'll play for the black if he has done. Well, that's a bonus for Neil. <laughs> for the moment. But what a difference to how he started. I mean, this has been a good last few frames from O'Sullivan. Yeah, that's yes, it was the point at the beginning of the last frame when I said he found his timing, his rhythm round the table, and he looked a different player. Eight what now? Seven. He keeps it going. Super stuff. A little bit too much side on the cue ball. Needs to come past the pink. Just left-handed. Got to mention it because he makes it look so easy. His ice break in the first four frames was 37. This black for a century. He was there for the taking early on, but when Sean Murphy had him in, on the ropes, he couldn't knock him down. And it's Ronnie O'Sullivan, who's going to come back tomorrow with a 6-2 lead. All of a sudden, Murphy under massive pressure to just keep with him. He just has this effect on players, great players. Seem to crumble against him. We saw it with Ding in the Welsh Open final. We saw it in Mark Selby in the Masters final. And we've seen it this afternoon with Sean Murphy. 118. And that's why Ronnie O'Sullivan remains the favourite to win this title next Monday evening. 123. So he's 136th Crucible century to end the afternoon firmly on top and appropriately it's going to be a 1-3-6 he finally found his form but he was given an opening by Sean Murphy he'll be so disappointed he wasn't ahead at the first interval in the end though O'Sullivan turned it on breaks a 94 and 1-3-6 to finish he ends the first session leading Sean Murphy 6-2 So that's uh, that one, but uh, of course there's still play going on on the other table, which is where we're going to go very shortly. Judd Trump and Neil Robertson, they've got two frames to go there.